Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Not to be confused with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which was definitely the conversation that every teenage boy had with their mum just before Christmas time. And me. It's made by Infinity Ward, and it's the 16th instalment of the Call of Duty franchise. Everyone should know the deal with Call of Duty by now. We buy one every year, we shoot other people online, and then get really deep into conversation with random people on the internet about having intimacy with one of their family members. And if you haven't done that yourself, you damn well know you've had an 8 year old say it to you. But this year, there are no trophies for online, which means if you're looking for the Platinum Trophy, you're going to have to scroll to the left and play the story mode. And I know what you're thinking. I didn't know Call of Duty had a story mode. Of course you didn't, because no one's bothered playing it since the first Black Ops game. This is the first time in a while that I've played a Call of Duty story and said, this shit is good. And I'll admit, there was one thing that drew me back to wanting to play it in the first place. And that was because the daddy of Call of Duty was back. Captain Price. Where's he gone? The highlights of this game aren't the levels where you're stuck in overwhelming firefights, but the levels where you're sneaking methodically around with Captain Price. And I'm not just saying that because you've got Captain Price with you. Our series. So we also were talking about how to make sure that we bring her in early enough and have Siri have... But because that's where most of the tension lies. Sneaking through a normal London house taking out enemies with just one shot. And the whole experience feels way more grounded and real as you can see the effect that it has on families of the enemies. And the game really has to be commended on that. First off, the trophies in this game are hard. In the, what the hell am I doing kind of way. It's like the developers threw darts at ideas and made them into trophies. Like having to babysit a concrete brick from start to finish of a level. This card isn't what it's like in the past. Before you could get trophies by just finishing levels. But this time the developers wanted to test your skills with trophies like shooting enemies who are operating vehicles, shooting tires off APCs and shooting two people in the head at the same time while playing as a little girl. So if you want the trophies in this game, I suggest you go around shooting about anything and you'll get a trophy pop up somewhere. There's some times that you might want to pick up a pen and a paper to jot down your progress since some trophies ask you to do stuff like get at least one enemy in different sections of the map and to complete a certain level by using eight different guns and you really do want to keep track on what you've done. So you don't end up missing something because trust me, those levels are pretty hectic. So it's best to make sure you know what you're doing before delving in. The trophies range in difficulty. They go as easy as turning off a light to levels where you just say, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Because they ask you to do things like go through an open area and not get hit by a sniper bullet a single time. Oh, sorry, did I get you? <laughs> no, you didn't get me. You get me, you kill me. Or having to empty out an entire level of enemies without being seen. And then there's a trophy that wants you to protect a particular soldier, which will leave you saying, What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want? And once you've done all the skill based trophies, which once you realise all you have to do is turn down the difficulty, then there's one last hurdle to jump over. And that's finishing the game on veteran mode. This mode was made to hurt you. Before you could frolic through gangs of enemies and they'd fall at your feet as you mow them down and it would take an army to be able to kill you. But with veteran mode, the senseless morons our enemies have been switched with absolute killing machines and it only takes one person to put you on your ass. It's unbelievable the, the, the condition of both men but the I must break you. Oh, Ima! Wait! If you want to get through these levels, you're going to have to be extremely tactical by actually using the conveniently placed barriers and taking your shots carefully. Or if that doesn't work, then you have to depend on luck, or else you'll be seeing the respawn screen more than you're going to be seeing the game. But when you finally do get through all the levels, you'd think you'd feel a sense of achievement, but instead you'll feel battered and bruised after having to endure veteran difficulty. I can assure you, you will utter the words bullshit a lot while playing this game. Look, having said that, this game is great. It's been a while since Call of Duty has had a satisfying story, and I recommend you get the game just for that. However, I wouldn't recommend you get the Platinum, mainly due to the full head of grey hair that I now have because of Veteran Mode, but because you'll most likely have to run through the story multiple times to acquire all the trophies, and you can still miss them if you're not careful and have to restart. In hindsight, I would have checked the trophies beforehand and tried to integrate them into my first playthrough, but I feel a few of them would hinder your experience, like wasting your time throwing grenades at trip mines, and taking down a helicopter with a Molotov. Which, by the way, was really cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. It would be much appreciated. And check out my other videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.
It's okay. I like it. Fire. Hmm. Kinky.